And my crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. And the title of the video is $5,000 when. Remember, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos and hit that like button. You'll be doing me a massive favor. Remembering none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and none of the information provided in this video should ever be taken as a signal to buy or to sell. But first and foremost, we look at these crypto bubbles. Wow, we are in the Red Sea after our dump yesterday. Now, many believe that that dump yesterday was a manipulation. And we can see here Quant is up two ranks to 53 with a market cap of 1.54 billion. We saw lots of dollar leave the overall crypto space yesterday. Again, that only adds more fuel to the thought that it could be manipulated to get us out before the ETFs become approved, whether they become approved this month or next month or this quarter. Um, obviously, people will use it to their advantage to either say they're coming or to say they're not. And we can see Quant is at $127 with a 24-hour volume of $49 million, down 0.3% in the hour, down 7% in a day, and down 9.4% in the week. So looking rather red in the market right now. But again, as you know, this does not bother me at all because I'm here for the long run. And this is what we are talking a bit about today. Now, just going over to TA regards to bull shark trading, and he says here the telltale sign that it was about to dump the deltas the candle before the dump recorded a minus 23.97 delta volume and 7190 trades that engulfed the previous delta volume at plus 8.78 and 2101 trades and he says here this is the date you just cannot see or get from the normal japanese candles and i would have to agree because you know, especially if we've got people ready to offload and looking at these volumes as well, says it all. Um, the proof is there. Also, we noticed this. I posted this this morning and we can see exchange reserves currently sitting at the lower end of the range that I keep talking about at 1.37 million down from yesterday, which is great. And we can see the net flow within the last 24 hours is minus 4,585 quant, which is nice to see. Obviously, people are buying it up and taking it off the exchanges. Now, net flow is inflow minus outflow equals the net flow, and the negative values indicate the reserve decreasing. So always, always good when we see this. Um, I think it's probably people DCAing, in, finding a nice price for their quant. Will we see lower? We'll have to wait and see. I'm unsure whether or not um, there might be some more cheeky news that comes out or <laughs> that will cause people to start selling off because whilst you're selling, it looks like they're buying. So we move on to the subject in hand. Will we see $5,000 per quant? And as you can see in this image, now I believe this is all down to time. We see here from Miles Bron, quant of $5,000 to $10,000 is not unreasonable. But again, this is all down to time. Now we see here from Financial Hedge, can quant hit $5,000 and become a top 10? What do you think Lord Farquhar, as we know, um, recently got rid of all his quant at some point and then just dipped out of the crypto space altogether? I don't know if he's back yet, I, I could be wrong. But he does say here, easy just depends on on time frame. Now time is the important factor here and I always say this. Now lots of people you know will have ideas of where they're planning to sell and some people will just wait until they see a figure that they like. So time is very very important. Now some people always say it's not on how much you hold it's how long you're holding it for which I sort of agree with because if you've got a thousand quant and you sell it at just over the all-time high for quant, you're going to bring in half a million dollars. But if you're holding a hundred quant and you hold it to $5,000, you're also going to make that $500,000, albeit that the other person will have their money out far earlier. But the smaller amounts do count because pe some people are in this to make a short buck. Some people are here for the long term. I'm here for the longer term and my holdings hopefully will see the best profit because not only do I hold Quan, I hold various other altcoins that I'm more likely to offload during the next bull market rather than offload all my quants. So I'll probably do it in stages. I'll see a number that I like, I'll drop a percentage and then I'll hold the rest for the moonshot. And I think a lot of people do see that. Now, 
these sorts of tweets always get me chuckling where they grade you to the amount that you hold because it doesn't really matter. It's really the amount of time, you know, someone holding 25 could go all the way up to $10,000 and make themselves $250,000. But that's not saying it's going to $10,000, but it's all time held. Now, someone that could own 500 quant may sell a lot earlier, the same with someone that holds 3,000 that's classed a whale. But at some point, these numbers will change because it may be that some point in the future that holding 100 quant will be classed as a whale. Again, this is down to time. Now, I like to look at the market cap of, I've not done this for a while, but if we look at the quant with the market cap of Doge, for instance. So if we're looking at quant being $5,000, we'd be looking at a market cap of just over $70 billion. Now we've got Doge here, it's all time high was around $88 billion. And that would see a price of quant of $6,000. You've got to remember that Doge is a meme coin and quant has all this value that is yet to be seen, yet to be priced in in some ways, because we're still seeing quant at very, very low prices. And hopefully, once that starts to come in and the CBDC narrative starts to play out and we start to see the blockchain adopted, I think then we start to see a bigger increase in price in quant and obviously a realized value of its real world use cases that are likely to come in in the future. Now, remember, this is all speculation. You know, things change. We don't know what those things might change, but I'm here for the medium to long term, not completely long term. Again, that's all down to perspective and how what you see is long term investment. I don't think five years is that long, to be honest, considering if you look at the stock exchange and how long people hold before they sell. Um, so there you go, guys. Just a quick update just to keep your keep you focused. All the best. And I'll catch you later.